Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video, we will discuss about how to reverse integer. Earlier I have discussed how to reverse string. Now we are covering lead code part. So today we will cover reverse integer. So let's understand what is the question first. It says, first of all, it's an easy one. And here given a 32 bit signed integer reverse digit of a number. If we are given input as 1 2 3, the output will be 3 2 1. If it is in minus, it should return minus as well. And if it has 0 at the end, 120, then in output, it should be 0 2 1. As 0 has no meaning in the beginning, so 21 should be there in output. With that, we have a note, assume we are dealing with an environment which could only store integer within 32-bit signed integer range. That is from minus 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So mainly, we have to focus on first how to reverse the integer and secondly if the number is smaller than 0 sign should be negative so for this first let us know how to reverse the integer here we have algo in front of our screen what i'll do i'll take the same number num as 123 and I know the reverse of this integer will be 321, which I will write somewhat in the side of my screen. Now, let's see the reverse of num. So for reversing, I should have the last most digit as my first. So here I need to take out this 3 out of my num number. So what I'll do? I'll make use of this remainder which will be 123 divided by 10. So when I divide 123 by 10, divide 10 twelves are 120 and 3 in my remainder. So with the help of first step, I got remainder as 3. Now the second step is to shift because Firstly, I extracted the digit from the num. I got this 3. Now what I have to do, I have to shift to the left. Because I want this 3 to be my first digit. Then the rest. So what I will do? First, I will initialize sum as 0. So 0 into 10 plus my remainder which is 3. So right now sum is 0 anything multiplied by 0 will be 0 plus 3 will be 3. So sum will be 3 right now and then resuming the last statement num divided by 10 the quotient which I will use for the next step. So now I will take this 12 and will divide by 10. So 10 ones are 10 and I got 2 as my remainder. Right now I have in my output as 3. Now I want this 2 to be with 3. So what I will do? Sum has 3. 3 into 10 plus recent remainder is 2. So 3 into 10, 30 plus 2 will be 32. So I got 32 as my current output. Now what I'll do, I'll take this one out of my quotient and will divide by 10. Here we can see 10 will not be able to divide 1 as it is a very less number. So 1 will be the remainder. Now this 1 will be in the remainder and sum is 32, 32 into 10 which is 320 plus 1. 
so I got 321 as my output as simple as that so here we have completed our first point which is to reverse the integer now I need to see whether that integer is less than 0 if it is less than 0 I will append minus sign to it let's say if I have in my input minus 123 so what I'll do I'll apply num is less than 0 then sign will be minus 1 and our num will be minus 1 into num so this question was simply two steps based question now apart from these two steps it says to have your integer value within 32 sign bit integer otherwise it will return 0 when the reversed integer overflows so the third condition we will apply this so here our number should be within this range so let's implement this into python program so we will go to pycharm and here i have already made a file name with reverse underscore integer now what i'll do i'll start making function with def reverse signed value where input parameter will be num and here i will take the result value as sum which i will initialize as 0 and a variable sign initialized by 1 now we will have two situations either our value that is num value will be less than 0 or greater than 0 so first let's see if num is less than 0 sign will be minus 1 and our num will be num into minus 1 whatever may be the value now let's see if num is greater than 0 it will have the remainder which will be num mod 10 then we will shift it to the left by sum is equal to sum into 10 plus remainder and then we will resume our value for the next iteration for next iteration that is here we need to apply while loop because it will be happening for each and every digit of a number so num divided by 10 here with the this sign i will get integer value only so here we completed our two steps now we will apply if sum is within the range minus 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 31 so here what i'll do if my value is not minus 214 748 3648 to 214 748 3647 if it is not within this range it will return 0 else it will return sign into our sum value now let's call the function for 123 with print statement now let us run the program here for 123 we got 321 now if i apply minus sign over here let's see i got minus 321 because it will go and have minus 1 appended with it and then it will calculate remainder and with that it will check whether our value is within the range of these values or not so this is how we can calculate reverse integer so please like share and subscribe my channel thank you